Hi, I'm Sherry Bamer from Pilates Yoga and Beyond. Today with me is my yogi in training, Grace. She's gonna help me stretch. So for those of you parents at home or busy people at home who say you don't have time to stretch because of your kids, your kids can help. Right, Grace? Okay, so first you need a strap, a belt, something that you can wrap around your foot. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna wrap this strap around my foot. So you'll know you're in a good distance. You might need to make your little strap longer or hang on longer, further down. You want to be able to have a straight leg. So if you can't put your head down because you can't reach, just adjust your strap so you can lay straight down, lay up in the air. Now Grace is going to turn, we're going to use our Tabata timer again. Grace is going to turn it on for me. Can you turn it on? Push the start button. Is this the start button? That's the down low. Yeah. Okay, so basically we're just going to use this timer so that we keep our stretches equal. Um, so I don't overstretch it. So when you're in this hamstring stretch, it's also going to be a calf stretch, you want to keep your hips neutral. So we don't want to tuck our hips under. Try to keep your hips neutral. There'll be a little curve in your lower back. Then look at your foot. Are your toes pulled in towards you? That's what we want to have here. The leg will be as straight as it can be today. The more your toes pull towards you, the deeper a calf stretch you're going to get. And you can bring the leg, you know, as close as you need to in order to feel your stretch. How are we doing, Grace? Good. Good. Uh, you're going to sing to us while we're stretching? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to take our leg and we're going to tip it out to the side. Try not to roll yourself over. Just start to move the leg off to the side. It doesn't matter how far it goes. If you can rest your upper arm on the floor, that's a nice um, way to support yourself so your arm okay. doesn't have to work as much. Okay, it's done! And we're starting to stretch and our inner thigh is stretching. So your foot might be further down, it might be higher up. Just kind of do what feels right. We have a few seconds left here. We're going to do even breathing, deep breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Almost done. Then we're going to lift the leg up. So we're going to switch hands. So same leg, switching hands. And you're just going to bring your foot a little bit off to the side. So maybe it lines up over your shoulder and close. You're going to start to feel a stretch in the outside of your hip. If you're comfortable here, you can start to send the leg further to the side. Right. Be the new hip. Okay, you're going to help out. We're going to pull the little toe of the foot towards us. How are you doing, honey? So, if you're busy, like I am, there's probably not a lot of time you have a chance just to completely relax and stretch on your own with no um, disturbances. We're going to lift that leg back up. We're going to start over the other side. But it's okay. Your kids can play around you or your husband or your significant other. You can encourage them to lay down and stretch with you. Okay, so we're on our other leg. The leg's straight up in the air. Knee is straight. Toes are pulled towards you. Maybe you need to hang on with both hands. Good. If this side's the looser side, only stretch as far as you did on the other side. forget to eat lunch is what Grace is saying. She's saying make sure you eat a healthy lunch. Belly muscles pulled in. Now we're going to tip the leg out to the side. So again, we're finding your inner thigh stretch. If you need to bend the knee a little bit, that's okay. Try to have your bottom leg as straight as you can, pushing down into the floor. Belly muscles strong. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. And just take some deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. All right, are you going to help me stretch, Grace? You want to help me pull my leg over to the other side? <laughs> All right, so from here, stay strong. Use your core to help lift that leg up. We're going to switch hands again like we did before. The foot's lined up over the shoulder or back. Now, if you're too a little tight, a little extra tight in the hamstring, you can bend the knee as you start to send the leg off to the side. You don't want to just feel a hamstring stretch. You want to get that stretch on the side of the leg into the hip as well. This is a good stretch to release the psoas too. Your shoulder blades stay down. So if you find yourself leaning, just lift that top leg up a little further so that the shoulder blades can plant down. Pull a little toe side of foot. Look at your little toe. Pull it towards you. I was cheating there. And then slowly lift the leg up. Bend the knee. Release your strap. 
You can roll to one side to support yourself up or roll up like we do in Pilates. So that was our hamstring, inner thigh, outer thigh stretch. Thank you so much for stretching with me. I'll see you soon.